hello 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 beautiful people how is everybody doing today how's everybody doing um if if anybody's on here let me know if if you can hear me and uh if you can see me <laughs> all right so um today well i don't see anybody on here yet okay so today um i'm just gonna talk about a few things and um you know the news that uh, caught my attention today was uh, this this uh, survey that shows that the hedge funds are all planning to hold, you know, a large portion of crypto by 2026. Oh, hello, hello. We have someone in the house. We have Cactus Jack in the house. Good morning, Cactus. How you doing? How you doing? Um, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Hanging in there. Hey, hey LP. What's up? What's up? What's up? How you doing? Um, all right all right all right all right so guys let me know if my mic is good let me know if my mic is good um and then we go we go we go let me see here okay so um today you know while i was doing my early morning checks and stuff i um uh i read this the, the this article and uh, the fact that these hedge funds Okay, throwing all the shade and all they can today. I planning to own this in the long term. I planning to own large portions of crypto in the long term. That just makes those of us who have decided to slowly stack up rain or shine. I mean, when I say rain or shine, I mean whether it's up or down. You find coins that you believe in and you stack up on them. We're going to get a leg up on these guys. We're going to have a pretty, uh, you know, decent position by the time these guys uh, are fully invested uh, how they want to invest. That also means that they also believe that it could go, uh, uh, that it's it's here to stay. It's not it's not something that's just going to, you know, the bubble is going to burst and then everything's going to go back down to zero. So, guys, don't don't be listening to all the news. Some of the news is out there to to shake you, to make you um, sell your your Bitcoin, your Ethereum, your ETC, whatever to, uh, you know, the people who want to buy. Brandon says it's good. Cactus, okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. How are you going to make me some money today? <laughs> oh, man. I don't know about making you money today, but, um, you know, we could talk about some stuff that could make you money in the future. So, so yeah. Uh, somebody says AMP is going uh astro interesting interesting hodel etc if eventually they'll come yes today everything is pretty down um let me let me go to dark mode here let's see etc etc's um it's i want etc to get up to like you know number 18 or something that's that that's when i feel good, good about it i mean i always feel good about it but i'm happier when it's it's catching up in market cap um everything has been down for a bit and um it's not doing that great today um but it did present a nice buying opportunity um uh it has presented i would say a nice load up opportunity for those who believe in it again you gotta believe in it you you gotta believe in some coins and load up on those Do, don't buy like you know 100 coins and buy a, a tiny little bit of each i don't think that's a, a great strategy um so what are you guys buying what are you guys buying somebody says they are buying amp um again if you uh okay if you are buying something that's crypto or stock just put you know crypto at the end or stock at the end um, that way i know i know what's up ns beats what's up what's up what's up how you doing um you don't buy you just mine hey that's a pretty good strategy jason what do you mind let me know what you mind let me know what you mind and the question is how long have you been mining those who started earlier are, are, are the ones that are the, are the best um, advantage um jacob i haven't forgotten about enj i did look up enj um it, it actually looks pretty good um here, let me see something here real quick. It looks it looks quite good. I'm not gonna lie. Um, let me 
view more here. I had I had written down some notes on it. I wanted to check something real quick. So um, yeah, so the the one thing I I I, I learned about ENJ ENJ okay was uh, yeah was was the the their whole NFT uh, their whole NFT situation and the fact that they were planning to you know uh, make tokens out of in in game situations is it, huge. Um, even yesterday, I don't know if any any of you got this on your Facebook, but. Mark Zuckerberg had this um, this what was the name the uh, audio only thing meet with a few other creators which were online game creators and it's showing that um, Okay, and then it's, I mean, it's showing that right now gaming is just huge and it's just going to get bigger and bigger and people are actually making uh, full-time jobs out of this. I, mean, I don't know how I feel about this, but at the same time, it's entertainment and as human beings, we're always going to need some form of entertainment. So um, it's, I mean, it's it's very good and it's uh, we are in a world where things are just going to be more virtual and virtual as we go on. Um, so, so yeah, ENJ seems like they, uh, they have a pretty good head on their shoulders. So, so I, I, I'll give you the, the green check mark for now. When AMC is done, you're going to ETC. Okay. Yes. So, Hey, that's a good strategy. It's a good strategy to be, you know, in crypto and stocks and try to move some of your profits around. It's always a great strategy because uh, nothing goes up forever, guys. Um, you know, so what happens is that everything kind of takes turns. And um, uh, so it's a great strategy uh, if you determine your out points. My question to you, Ernest, is what is your take on AMC? How far do you think AMC is going to go before AMC uh, says it's, before you think AMC is done? Are you going to be satisfied with hundred dollars are you going to be satisfied with five hundred dollars are you going to be satisfied with a thousand dollars okay even on twitter there is this movement that says um amc to 500k so even if it does go to a hundred thousand dollars i'm sure people will still be holding on and waiting for 500k so my question is what is your end game uh i just i just want to know okay still holding matic yes yes Yes, Matic, yes, okay? Don't joke with Matic. I know it did have a pretty uh, quick uh, pump, you know, and a lot of people jumped on it, uh, but it's still it's still a pretty long-term hold. And with all the amazing things that are about to happen to Ethereum, it only makes Matic look so much better. Hey, Crypto Bounce a lot. What's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing, how you doing? Um, how you doing? Okay, AMP crypto is up thirty percent. Okay, let's let's take a quick look at AMP. Yeah. So Astro wants us to take a look at AMP. Um, I first thing I want to see here is AMP is described as a new digital collateral token offering instant verifiable assurances for any kind of value transfer hmm. value transfer interesting secure transactions for a wide variety of use cases i mean if they're talking about value transfer um i don't fully does that mean that Things can be minted on here. Like, can I mint an NFT and and transfer it as a value? I just I just want to know what's happening here. Oh, ma managers, hmm, smart contracts that can lock, release, and redirect collateral in these partitions. Interesting. Sounds quite interesting. Let me look at the all time. 
Uh, okay, yeah, AMP has definitely been around for a minute. It's been around since 2020, September 2020, so that's last year. Um, so uh, usually, I, you know, my my um, hesitation is, is is reduced when when something has been around at least for more than seven months, okay? It, it, but still, that doesn't mean anything. You have to do a lot more digging in for yourself, so. And the price action, the all-time price action actually looks pretty decent, so that's good. What's going on with ETC? Um, Jerome, ETC, ETC. Um, so nothing has changed, okay? Um, ETC is actually doing quite well. Um, I just had it up not too long ago. Um, the truth is the whole market is doing a crap dance. It's doing a sideways dance, okay? The whole market doesn't know where it's headed. Um, you know, we get Elon saying, hey, we're back in Bitcoin. Uh, we're back out of Bitcoin. This stuff is happening. But somehow, I believe the market this time around, unlike three years ago when China said, the, you know, they were banning it and everything just went crashing when i say crashing i mean you you haven't seen a crash you know until you start losing like 70 percent of of you know uh the value of some of these projects but the market seemed to be holding up okay and um etc in particular um if you look at etc um you know unlike uh most of these top coins bitcoin ethereum and stuff where etc came from Okay, you got to look at where ETC came from. So I was showing this the other day. Let's do the three months. Let's just do three months. And even in the, just the three months, you can see that on April, hold on. Let me go down here. April, um, April 8th, ETC was $19, $19, one nine. I'm talking about April, okay? Uh, we're in June now, okay. So, ETC has come from so far, and it it did this very big run up, and it's been on a downward trend since. But arguably, it's been able to hold a lot of its value, okay. Um, it dropped to as low as I think forty five, uh, forty for there about but it's been able to hold a lot of its value and that alone is impressive it means that it's found a higher low okay so higher lows is that's what we're we're sh shooting for for the long term and almost all the predictions that we have out there for etc are pretty much long term um uh well we have the year end one uh which which may or may not happen Okay, but at this point, it's really hard to call anything because uh, I believe that the bull run is just taking a breather and handling all this FUD. Very soon, the FUD is not going to mean anything because as the bad news starts coming, we realize that these hedge funds, these big companies are making plans to have large portions of crypto in the next two, three, four years. So what does that tell you? Okay, Goldman Sachs for a long time was telling their uh, customers that um, don't don't invest in Bitcoin, don't invest in Ethereum. All of a sudden, they come out of nowhere and they declare that Bitcoin is now an investable uh, asset. Uh, Bitcoin cannot be invested in. And then news leak also shows that they are uh they've been stacking up on Ethereum and they are waiting for the right time to tell their clients to tell their sheeple when to buy Ethereum, okay? And you have this old money that would not buy a single thing unless the the suits and the ties from, you know, Goldman Sachs says, yes, it's time to buy. By then, we, okay, have stacks of these things already because we've been accumulating and we, we believe that these things will do well in the, in the long uh, run. So again, this crap dance, Selfishly, I wish it would continue for a much longer period of time when the market is just down and moving sideways and not doing much. Uh, because what, what happens is that it, it gives me the opportunity to uh, just slowly build my position, okay? 
I have a bi-weekly buy on ETC. And it's not the best strategy. Usually you have to buy on the low, uh, you know, time the channel and buy on the low. But ETC is just one of the few that I just have a bi-weekly buy-in and I just buy in whatever price it is, bi-weekly. And um, I realized that, hey, it's not the best strategy, but it kind of works. Uh, it helps me build my position slowly. So, so yeah, it's the, it's the long game. And, uh, that's, and, you know, any time from now, it could be in a month, it could be in two months. Um, if, for example, the SHA-3 upgrade is announced, ETC will be one of the hottest things that is being talked about uh, in the crypto uh, world. And that hasn't happened for a long time. So if that happens again, ETC is going to go and go blow past the 180 that it did the last time. So, um, so yeah, so just hang tight, hang tight, build your positions, just hang tight. All right, let's see what all do we have. And it's all right, you got a few, that's good, that's good, that's good. Leonard, what's up, what's up, Zuckerberg, <laughs> you guys, <laughs> he's gonna get you, he's gonna delete your Facebook account. <laughs> <laughs> gamers, yo, gamers are getting paid. Gamers are getting paid. Um, I don't know if you guys uh watch Warzone, uh, you know, by King Richard. Um, this guy from Philly, right? Um, he he got a deal and he just moved from he got he got a lot of people on Twitch, you know, million plus or something like that. He got a deal and then he just moved from Twitch to Facebook. And uh, apparently the deal included like, you know, monthly salary or something like that. And he's over there driving, uh, driving a, a, a brand new, you know, Porsche. <laughs> I, I don't, it's, it's, it's crazy, man. They are really getting paid. All right. What do I think about Cody? Uh, would you go after? Okay. So, or near the events of June. Okay, so here's the thing. DeFi projects in general are very hot, okay? DeFi projects are hot. So uh, if you, for example, Cody, if you like um, Chainlink, you you should have some Cody as well. Um, um, I'll explain another time, but uh, again, good project and DeFi season is just about to roll out, so guys, be ready for a DeFi season. You know what? I think we should make a video on the top 10 DeFi projects to uh, to uh, to buy now. I will put a, a poll up in the community uh, section with that. I should make a video on the top 10 DeFi projects or, or top 10 altcoins to buy. You're satisfied when the shots cover yes yes but the question is the shorts also have a game they have a game sometimes they pretend to to cover and then there's a, a fake bull um action and then they they short some more so that's what they do that's what they do okay brandon says wfrd what is that um wfrd Put a dollar sign in front, and it knows that you're talking about the stocks. Okay, it's up. Weather for oh 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 oh. Okay 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 okay. I've seen this weather for oh the month the one month is looking sexy. I see six month is also looking not too bad not too bad. Uh, what are they up to? What is there any big news uh, coming up? Um, what are they up to? Let me know. Brandon again, H A L. So I'm just doing a quick look. I'm not looking at the share structure or anything. I'm just just doing a quick look to see just the price action for now and and see what the company is about. Oil company, oil drilling company. Where is that? In Kuwait. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, Phil. <laughs> I remember Phil. 
uh this stock i think the guy is from vietnam or something i played this stock before this is a penny stock or at least was a penny stock um yes very volatile guys be uh be careful but uh you know i have played this before and i did within two weeks it was like 140 percent profit i was i was in and out um they they, they had an announcement coming and you know, I got, I bought it a few weeks before the announcement and I sold it four days before the announcement. You know, a lot of people wait to sell the day before the announcement, but sometimes the big guns are out before that. So that's why some these days with time, you realize that selling um, on the news happens a lot earlier, even with crypto. Okay. Like we are doing the 420 or whatever and the thing starts going up from the 16th by the 18th it hits a peak and people do most of the selling there and um before it goes down so i don't know what phil is up to now uh but it's they've just been a little um just be careful okay it's very volatile just be be uh be careful with phil um These companies, yes, that is that is their strategy, man. That is what they are doing. That is what they are doing. Um, they know this is going to be the long-term play, but some of us are not going to be fooled. Uh, you know, I sold a lot of my crypto last year and even earlier this year. Now I've learned how to still get money from my crypto to use without actually selling my crypto. So that's what we, we all need to be doing. Um, and and hold your crypto, hold your crypto because um, again, what's the name of this this uh, billionaire investor? He said he said something about uh, he said Bitcoin is math, and math is certain. Two plus two will always be four, and you can always depend on that. So um, yeah, you holding Gerald holding ATC? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Brandon, okay, so your crypto, you got ETC, BTC, ETH, Doge, Sheep, Bone, finally usable crypto karma. <laughs> what is happening? Okay, all right. Um, so what do you guys think about Sheep? Do you guys like Sheep? Uh, do you guys see a lot of potential in Sheep? I've seen it. Um, and I think Sheep is slowly building something similar to the doge army uh it's it's you know i mean i'm i'm quite impressed with what it's doing i didn't give it that much um um i, I didn't think it would it would survive you know this long with the hype just because it was a meme off of a meme you know but it seemed to be uh hanging on okay so i don't know i don't know i might have to look into it a little bit um, a little bit more and see what they are up to. Uh, any news on their exchange? I heard there's a sheep swap or something that was coming up. I wasn't paying too much attention to it, but so let me know. Let me know. Okay. Media TV says you are on ETC ICP. Oh, Phil. Nice. One of the first people who is actually in, in Phil. That's, that's good. Yearn Finance. That's a good one. Yen Finance, man. Yen Finance could have made you rich if you got in early. Oh, nice. Nice stack there. I, you know, I like that you guys have, um, you know, quite a concentrated group. It's easier to load up more. If, if you are in more than 20, then it becomes, uh, you become, you spread yourself too thin. So, yeah. Yeah. What do you think, Safe Moon? uh doing when the while it becomes available again safe moon let's see i haven't actually checked price action on safe moon in so long um so safe moon i still stand where i stand with safe moon um um i believe that among the um the bsc smart chain projects that have come out recently, it's shown a lot more potential than a lot of them. Uh, even though even though there's there's a bunch of uh, FUD, or I would say bad news and stuff that keeps coming out, um, 
they they have the money and they are trying they are trying i'm not saying they will be able to but what i'm what i see is that they are trying to diversify um ways of bringing in income and that's that's huge so uh i mean there is some p potential there so that's uh uh if the wallet comes available and it does what it's supposed to do it should do very well you know but hey tom it's been a while it's been a while how you doing how you doing good to see you good to see you yeah i've been uh i've been a little mia and uh these days i can't even stay long because um I have to take the kids for swimming and um, again my wife signs up for these things and then i have to take them it's not fair okay <laughs> so but it's good it's good to teach them to swim so so, so they don't drown so yeah all right so tom is eth doge btc amc and a small bit of gme nice 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 so tom have you done any in and out of amc or you're just you're just gonna hold your amc till um till we um uh you know we squeeze the crap out of them <laughs> out of them let me know let me know you sold your litecoin yes you told me about that okay 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 um well, sometimes, hey, sometimes, you know, don't sell out completely, you know, uh, because some sleeping pro projects uh, end up having their day. Uh, so, uh, you know, sometimes don't sell out completely. And otherwise, you know, when you never know what's going to happen and people are going to go back to the old, the old altcoin. Litecoin used to be the, the altcoin. Like if you didn't have Bitcoin, well, I have Litecoin. And uh, I mean, I'm talking, this is four years back. So you never know when people are going to decide to uh, uh, switch and, and pump it someday. So, yo, thank you, thank you, thank you, Tom. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, where is the clownfish? Whatever happened to Litecoin? No one talks about that anymore. So, so yes, that exactly. That's what I was just saying. Um, Litecoin, you know, ha had its time and I think after the event with Charlie Lee, after the you know the co the the founder or whatever uh, sold all his Litecoin and decided to leave, uh, development has been a little slow and um, attention also has gone down as well. So, uh, but at the same time, it's a trusted coin that has been around that has potential. Recently, news is showing that uh, even. Um, Bitcoin, okay, is doing some updates that might make it such that there could be smart contracts on Bitcoin. Now, that's going to be a huge game changer because that's that's mostly what Ethereum has on Bitcoin. That's something that ETC is w waiting to fully um, capitalize on once they are fully secure and all that. Uh, and if Bitcoin can make that update, even though Bitcoin is as clunky as it is, Litecoin can easily make a better update because Litecoin is lighter and faster than Bitcoin. Uh, but at the same time, I don't know how much uh, they are willing to push it, but you never know. It could be one of those surprise projects out there. So, uh, I mean, if it dips low enough, you could, uh, you could dip your toe back in again. It's now 167. Um, I don't have a position myself in Litecoin at the moment, but I'm thinking about it. I am thinking about it. And uh, Clownfish, Clownfish. So Clownfish, I, I didn't actually send him a link today. Uh, I think he said his availability is mostly Fridays for sure. But last Friday, well, when I sent him a link, it was late. So, uh, well, he didn't see it. The next day he told me he was watching a movie. <laughs> So we'll see if we can catch him next Friday or or something. Or maybe when I'm going again, I would uh, message him early and see if we can catch him. Um, yeah. Thank you very much again for the uh, super chat. Sheep swap is gonna send it to the moon. Okay, Brandon, do you have any uh, timeline for the uh, sheep swap? Uh, is there a timeline for that? Uh, let me know. Let me know. Let me know. My my uh, camera seems a little blown out, but oh well, we'll see. You did trade the AMC a couple of times, okay? Made one thousand five hundred simply put it back into AMC. 
Nice, nice, nice. You're tired of the one. <laughs> um, yes, it is. It is not realistic. It is not realistic because we have all seen what can happen um, on these exchanges when prices go crazy. Okay, things get frozen, and then somehow some people are able to buy while it's frozen. Some people are able to sell while it's frozen. It's it's hard to tell how the manipulation goes, but you know that is. Uh, that that is pretty pretty unrealistic uh but it could theoretically it could have a, a shoot uh you know i believe uh not more than a thousand dollars okay even that it would be very brief it would be brief um so again do, do, those of you who are in amc uh you don't know when this is going to happen but what's going to happen is that if AMC goes past a thousand dollars per share, it's not gonna wait for you, guys. It's not gonna wait for you. People who have never seen a million dollars before in their accounts, all of a sudden, are seeing ten million dollars in their account. Guess what? They're taking it. Look, they're taking it, and they are going to Fiji on vacation for the next five years. So, um, uh, you know, to think that everybody will hold on till. Um, whatever, 100,000, 500,000, you might be the one left holding the bag. So then again, be alert, you know, if you if you, if you you uh, have a bunch of AMC, set some to sell at different prices. Like, you know, set some to sell at, let's say $90, at maybe 150, another one at $250. And, uh, you know, you have all those limit sales in all the way to like $1,000 or more. So that if you are asleep or you're not available and it, there's a quick uh, spike up and, you know, you can easily grab some of that. So, yeah. Okay, what do you think about not safe moon and what is Fonda said about safe moon not working as they advertise it okay so i haven't uh i actually saw i think i might have seen a few tweets on that but i haven't read the whole thing the whole thing that the founder said themselves uh so i don't think i'm in a, a good position to comment on that i need to fully read that first before i can uh comment on that uh big m87 Okay, Rivera says you are selling AMC at like three hundred or four hundred. Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, see, the thing is, just have a plan. It doesn't matter what it is. Look, if AMC does goes to a hundred thousand and you miss out, you shouldn't feel bad about it. Uh, most important is discipline, because what's gonna happen is if AMC uh, goes to four hundred thousand and you don't have any discipline you're gonna keep waiting for AMC to hit, you know, 600,000, to hit a million dollars. Because if it does go, if AMC goes to $500 right now, that hashtag AMC to 500K is going to change to AMC to 2 million, okay? Um, so uh, what's important is that have a plan and try hard to stick to it. Okay, let's see. Tom says, I don't know why some people think that no one should take profit to AMC. And that has, I'm the only going to lock in profits. Yes, yes, Tom. That's uh, So uh, there's a lot of channels out there that are just advertising, you know, diamond hands, hold to the moon, hold to forever, you know. But it's not it's not realistic, guys. You know, I'm, I'm just being real, okay? A lot of these channels, they have very large followings and they are getting a lot of teenagers and young people to um, hold on forever, while some of them actually uh, do l trades backdoor and, 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 you know, lock in profits. The, the good thing is to teach people how to lock in profits. Uh, otherwise, people come in and then they just, they just never get interested in, in investing again because they feel like the whole stock market is a scam or, or something like that because uh, they were holding their shares forever and expecting something to happen and that thing never really happened. Um, so again, take some profits along the way. 
if you have AMC and you are taking profits, let's say you decide to take some profits at $75, profit at $150, a profit at $250. You keep taking profit until you've sold 80% of your shares. Then maybe at that point, okay, just leave the, the rest, the, the, the 20% to ride for a very long time and, uh, and see what happens. Okay. Uh, but if you haven't taken any profit and you, um, you are playing with money that you cannot afford to lose, you just have, you have to be alert, man. It, the ball could drop any day. And Somebody's going to be left holding the bag. And guess what? It's going to be the, the new people. The rookies are the ones going to be left holding the bag. So um, what do I think of Cardano? Not financial advice. Cardano, Cardano, Cardano. Nothing has changed on Cardano. Cardano is still in my top five altcoins to hold. Um, um, I'm, I'm slowly becoming a fan, uh, uh, you know, a fan of um, Charles Hoskinson, you know, I've listened to him quite a bit and he's, he's pretty deep uh, in the crypto world and, and his explanation of things shows a lot of potential. But the question is, is he humble enough to bring on um, enough people, uh, people who are talented enough to take Cardano where it needs to go? Or does he want to do everything by himself? So that's gonna be the big, the big thing, okay? And uh, you know his his role uh, with with Ethereum and relationship with uh, Vitalik and stuff. Um, you know he's he's been there. He's been there. He's seen it all. Uh, but the question is, how is he gonna move this forward? And personally, I still think that Cardano is. A very good long-term investment. Very, very good long-term investment. Um, they just a few weeks ago, okay, pretty much demoed their first smart contract capability. And once they get that off the ground, Cardano has more support than many other coins out there. Okay, 70% of Cardano is being staked. That just shows how much people trust Charles Hoskinson and his team. And and the fact that you know people stake them in some of these locked pools, which uh, pretty much prevents them from selling these coins, um, it's it's remarkable, and it's you know it's been holding up quite quite okay, if you ask me, in this in this bearish uh, season, um, it's it's holding up quite okay. Currently at one fifty, and um, I think I think once the smart contract capability is fully unlocked it's going to explode. It's going to have another uh, pretty epic, epic run. So, yep, 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 yep. Um, do I think Bitcoin is breaking out this downtrend? Uh, okay, so I believe this this downtrend is actually not a downtrend. Uh, we've, been, we've been doing some sideways action, guys. We've been sideways for a while. Um, let me click Bitcoin here. Let's see what we got. Let's look at the one month. Okay, this is the one month, guys. This doesn't look like a downtrend. This is one month action of Bitcoin. We're just sideways, okay? And um, it, it's, it, it's looking like this might con continue for a little bit longer uh before we we get out of it in the previous years usually things are very slow in the summer uh usually the summer is pretty down and things are very slow but this year um you know things have gone down quite a bit but nothing close to the previous years it could be because of so many things it could be because of maybe the awareness of crypto today the impact of crypto today is different than it's ever been and um, the fact that people are seeing real potential here, especially with DeFi and um, other uh, other stuff. So that could be what's holding it up. It's making people buy whenever it dips, you know. And uh, so I, I think this sideways action might continue for a while, possibly, possibly till, till um, end of July, they're about. And maybe somewhere in August, things start picking up again. And as usual, by the fall, uh, everything goes. And by December, we have sharp uh, peaks. 
And that's when new people start jumping in. And, you know, uh, early in the year, early 2020 is going to be hot again, maybe January, February, and then by March, it might start calming down again. So I think it's just a cycle. And, and the thing is, if you are steadily buying your favorite coins during this sideways slow season, when it starts shooting up and you know december um you know november december january you can sell some of your positions okay you can trade some of your positions and then buy them again on the dip okay what i do is i never sell all my position at a time because it makes me make irrational decisions i get i get fearful <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's gonna, it's gonna squeeze and, and shoot up to the sky, and I'm gonna m miss out. So I, I always trade half my position, and I'm able to uh, catch the lows again. And even if it keeps going up, I know I still have half in there, so I don't panic. So, um, uh, you bought ETC at 107. Um, okay, so I mean, at this point, the best thing for you to do is to just hold, uh, because personally, personally. I believe that if the bull market returns, by the end of this year, ETC could be a three hundred dollar coin. Okay, three hundred dollar coin by the end of, by the end of this year. Um, that's if the bull market returns. And so uh, at that point, one hundred seven is not going to mean anything. And if you do believe in ETC long term, then just hold. Uh, even if you can, um, you can you can average now as well. And also diversify. I always, I always talk about diversification as well. No matter how much you believe in a coin, diversify as well. Um, so looks like I don't have too many more minutes here. I only have about three minutes to go, guys. Man, this is uh, kind of short. Is the has the bull market ended? I I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure. But all I can tell you is that. Um, the the crypto market has been given enough fud enough scary news for us to have completely dumped by now okay the news has been bad upon bad upon bad upon bad and we have still not completely dumped what does that tell you that tells you that people believe in it okay while people are getting scared and and selling stuff uh hedge funds and others are buying up um, the, um, you know, uh, institutions are looking into it. Institutions are planning for, for it. So it's, it's just, uh, it's just the bull market hasn't fully ended. It hasn't fully ended. Um, so, uh, from, from my point of view, I, I, I believe that, um, you know, once the sideways action rests for a while, it might take off again and we might have another, and another pretty good run to the end of the year. So, so that's that's what I believe. Hey, hey, thank you, thank you, thank you for the super chat. Big M87. What's up? Thank you, thank you. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Jay says, average down now if you're 107, it's only like 55. Yes, you see, that's the thing. When you average down, you you will feel better, a little better about yourself. And guess what? If you're able to bring your average down to about 65 that they're about uh then you know once we go past 65 now you'll be in the green so um again if you believe in it that's what uh you should do you should do and and i just happen to be a little fortunate like my bi-weekly buys that i have set during the bi-weekly buy like today was my buy-in for etc actually and you know for the past three buys or so it's been pretty low on the days that you know i set in to buy so it's, uh, you know, it's worked out for me that way, but sometimes it's just good to just time it and, and buy on the low and, um, and keep stacking up. All right, guys. Well, uh, maybe we could keep this going, you know, have these short, short live sessions. And um, I will, uh, if you haven't subscribed and you're new here, please do well and subscribe. Um, I, will, I will see you all tomorrow, okay? Or maybe this evening. I'm thinking about maybe coming on this evening a little bit because the, the evening crew, um, I haven't seen the evening crew in a while here. And uh, thank you all for being here. Thank you all for the super chats and all. Oh, my. Tom again. Oh, my. 
Thank you. Thank you. Post tree. Oh man, that's going to happen. It is going to happen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll tell them that uncle Tom, uncle Tom bought them ice cream. <laughs> thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Blessings, 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 blessings. Um, I, I, um, I had, I had another interview, um, yesterday and the school is, is a little far away. It's like half an hour away. Um, but it's, I don't know if they'll pick me because they, they were straight up with me that, you know, 80% of the students are uh, Spanish speaking. And uh, for that school, they, they want someone that they would prefer someone that speaks Spanish. And I speak nada Spanish, okay? I speak six languages, but none of them happen to be Spanish. So I don't think I'm gonna get that. So we'll see what happens, we'll see what happens. All right, thank you guys. Thank you all, I'll see you, um, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, peace.